based on agricultural commodities increased more than threefold from 2000 to 2008, representing, in the words of the FAO, at the currently prevailing first generation conversion technology, a further rise in the use of agricultural feedstock for the production of biofuels would be a real risk for food security. In order to realize the potential benefits of biofuels, while simultaneously addressing the possibility of the negative effects of the demand for biomass, this resolution takes several concrete steps, combining short-term and long-term aims. This resolution will ensure that all people at all times have access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious foods to meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active While it is certainly not true that all cities are polluted to the point that rooftop farming would be precluded by extreme pollution, it is a method as in SOC 8, Clause 8, Subclause C, Sub Sub Clause 1 that Pakistan mentioned previously has been implemented at a small scale. Rooftop farming has also begun to be implemented and has proven successful. So we are hoping to see a continuation in this trend. Would the delegate agree that this resolution is more aimed for the NEDCs and not the NEDCs that cannot? that do not have like the uh, technology and the research and the funding to do all this? Actually, the delegate would not agree because there are certain clauses in this resolution specifically designed to protect LEDCs. I believe that the delegate of Pakistan mentioned that there has been a practice of certain MEDCs buying up large amounts of land in LEDCs, and this resolution would certainly ensure that this does not continue as it is detrimental to the food production of LEDCs. There are other clauses in here designed to protect um, LEDCs. MEDCs certainly would be more involved. Honorable delegates, the Federal Republic of Germany would first like to state its congratulations to Pakistan for such a well-merged resolution. As this delegate feels that this resolution truly grasps every aspect of the concept, sustaining the stability of the food market over the biofuel production whilst realizing the potential in its energy technology. This importance of the humanitarian views given clearly in Clause 2, which, without inflicting national sovereignty, takes clear note of the importance of the prioritization necessary. Such positive attitude is taken even further with regards to Clause 6, inviting all nations to promote collaboratively the environmental sound practice of second generation biofuel on a global scale, which this delegate can only further applaud through its genuine spirit of the collective process in advancing to an environmentally friendly biofuel production, which, with the resources it uses, enables separate markets for food production and biofuel, a vital long term factor towards the fighting international rising prices of food. The Federal Republic of Germany therefore believes that this is the best interest in all nations to prove this resolution. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all. The delegate is open itself to any and all points of information. The chair will entertain five, should there be five points of information on the floor. Are there any points of information on the floor at this time? The United Kingdom, you have been recognized. Please rise and state your point. Thank you, delegate, for your excellent, excellent speech. However, in Clause 9, you have restricted the development of... Assuming that this is due to inaudibility, could the speakers please speak up a little bit? Yeah. Thank you, delegate, for your excellent speech. However, in Clause 9, the delegate would like to wonder why you have restricted the development of certain countries if they have not uh, agreed to follow this, these protocols. Hmm. <laughs> the delegate of Germany would request that the delegate of the United Kingdom send a note to Pakistan and further help you with that question. Thank you. How does the delegate of Germany wish to yield this time? Is it in order to yield the floor to the delegate of Venezuela? That is in order. Venezuela, do you accept this yield? And Venezuela, you have the floor. Fellow delegates, firstly, Venezuela would like to congratulate the delegation of Pakistan on a thorough and well thought out resolution. We not only say this because Venezuela is a co-submitter of this resolution, but also because we fully believe in and endorse the ideas promoted in this resolution. We recognize the importance of exploring newer and allegedly more sustainable energy options, although oil, a well-understood and still available fuel source, is still an option as well. However, Venezuela believes that food security must be the number one priority, as it is best for all people, 
and seeing that the first millennium de development goal is to eliminate extreme poverty and hunger. This belief is emphasized in Clause 3. Venezuela also appreciates Clause 1, which asks for a change in the overindulgent energy consumption patterns of some MEDCs, like the United States of America, for example. We would also like to highlight Clause 9, Subclause B, Subclause 1, that takes measures to prevent the eviction of the native population from their land after land grabs by such perpetrators as American investors and universities. In conclusion, Venezuela will like to emphasize its adamant support of this resolution and urges all other delegations to do the same. Thank you. Would the delegate like to open herself to any points of information? Any and all. The delegate has opened herself to any and all points of information. The chair will entertain three. Are there any points of information on the floor at this time? Rwanda, followed by Human Rights Watch, followed by Iraq. Please rise and state your points in that order. Thank you, Delegate. This resolution does emphasize that MEDCs will be taking part in most of the research, as they already are, because these are the countries that can afford this type of research. However, this resolution also encourages the collaboration of such scientific research so that LEDCs may also participate in this new and important growing field. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. I think it's important to evaluate, well, Delegation Venezuela thinks it's important to evaluate all of these, um, the, how to do this in each different country on a country by country basis, seeing as that countries are diverse in their geographic climates and their populations and their needs, and thus it would be necessary to evaluate each country separately in order to determine the best way possible to accomplish this. Thank you. The delegates of uh, Pakistan and Spain both previously said that uh, RIPA uh, crop growth has been a small success. But uh, the delegates have the impression that none of them have been to a large city. Whilst they may work on a small scale, do you not believe that uh, RIPA growth is unrealistic on a larger scale due to your government advice that a city which would absolutely be different with the top of it? Thank you, Delegate. Um, Venezuela does not agree that this is an impossible task. It has been proven to work in small scale options, but um, we believe that it is necessary to do further research in order to implement this, seeing as with the growing population, cities are going to become more large and more common, and that growing crops in them are, is a sustainable option as far as saving how much land you're using. Thank you. Could the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? Please rise and state your point. Venezuela, would you open yourself to one more point of information? Yes. Then I say, you may deliver your point. The delegate is aware that Venezuela is a large producer of oil. However, Venezuela does recognize that oil is in a, a finite supply and that other energy options must be explored in order to ensure a secure energy future. Thank you. Then would Venezuela please yield the floor back to the chair? Uh, delegate yields the floor back to the chair. The floor is now open. Are there any delegates wishing to obtain the floor? Mexico, you have been recognized.
uh, see the whole clause will cost too much energy in every way, human and electric and whatever. And in some NDCs like Guatemala or Ecuador, these things are not feasible. Uh, the Where delegate? Delegate? There will be no direct dialogue between delegates. Should the point be rephrased, then the delegate can ask the chair to uh, ask the speaker to rephrase the question. Um, the delegate does not agree with this. Um, she feels that it is an effective method, though perhaps um, not necessarily the most feasible by very lesser economically developed countries. It still is a feasible task that can be utilized for the eventual aid from other countries. If so, <coughs> feel that introducing this program into primary school education is a bit too early? No, uh, the delegate of Greenpeace believes that there is no point that's too early to start educating people about uh, environmental sustainability. It need not go into as much detail as the secondary school syllabi, but I think it's an issue worth mentioning. Sorry, Greenpeace believes it's an issue.